Hey guys, the Cubes it here. Today I'll be reviewing a 180 cube and a cube puzzle stand that NK Cube sent me. So before we get into these puzzles, I just want to let you know that at the end of this video, I'll be announcing the winner of this lattice cube, which I got in my puzzle crate for the month of July. I already have this puzzle, so I'm giving it away to one of you guys, and I'll be using a random comment selector at the end of this video, and then be sending that person a private message on YouTube. So stay tuned for this at the end of the video. So I already have a video out on these two puzzles that NK Cube sent me and I decided to split it up into two videos just because I didn't want one to be too long. So in this one, I'm going to briefly be going over the 180 cube, which is a 3x3 that is bandaged internally so that it only can do 180 degree turns. And if you try and do a 90 degree turn on then another turn, it locks up. But you do one more 90 degree turn after that, and then it works just fine. Now this puzzle is 3D printed and can be found on his website, which I'll link down below. It's $50. I'm not quite sure what kind of stickers you'll get because the one he sent me has these sort of uh, outlined stickers, whereas the ones on his website kind of look like carbon fiber-esque stickers. Uh, the one with the carbon fiber stickers looks a little bit cooler. But uh, this is an interesting puzzle because it's uh, proportional, which I don't think uh, was done before him. So you can almost always solve it to either an H perm or just an R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. Uh, so an H perm that I find very helpful, whether you're actually solving the puzzle or just trying to get like this piece here and then these two need to swap uh, because you wouldn't be able to do an R2, U2 because then these two would swap, thus affecting this one of the solved face. Uh, the H perm is uh, with the H perm on top, F2, U2, F2, U2, F2. L2, F2, U2, L2, U2, F2, L2. So I find that very helpful. I'll have that down below, and let's go ahead and take a look at the pieces. So you'll notice that these pieces don't look like normal pieces, and these are designed to prevent other turns once it's turned 90 degrees. So here you sort of see on a normal edge piece this cut into the edge right here would also be done there, but that not being there prevents it from being turned once it's turned 90 degrees. So I guess one way to show uh, about how this mechanism works, it's a little bit difficult because it's black plastic. Uh, but if I do a 90 degree turn here, you can see this edge piece right here is similar to this one where only half of it sort of has that cut, the other half doesn't. Now when I try and turn this this way, the part that doesn't have the cut, so right now that edge piece is in there like this, and so it has, it kind of has the block, uh, the blockage right there, and then that will run into the center piece right here, and so that prevents it from being turned. And all the pieces are designed like that. And he asked a question on his video, which I'll link down below, which was how many unique pieces does this have? And so I'm not quite sure the answer. I didn't actually look in the comments or see if he uploaded uh, a video answering, but. Uh, I'd be interested to know your guys' guesses on how many unique pieces there are in this puzzle. It's a very, very fun solve. Uh, if you're a fan of buying 3D printed puzzles and supporting puzzle designers, I'd recommend buying this. It's 50 bucks on his website. Uh, but if you're not really into that and you just kind of want to give a 180 cube a shot, you can just grab a normal 3x3 and then just do R2, U2, F2, you know, those moves. And then you essentially have a 180 cube here. Uh, you might accidentally make a 90 degree turn, which I've done before, but on here, uh, if you accidentally do a 90 degree turn, it locks up. Or, I've noticed one thing, it actually pops a lot. Just like that. So sometimes I'll, I'll want to do a T-perm or something like that, and then that'll happen. The turning quality is very good for this being a 3D printed puzzle. I haven't had any issues, it's very smooth. Now let's go into the puzzle stand. So this puzzle stand uh, works just normally it's a puzzle stand. It's also 3D printed and can be bought for $15 on his website. You can stack other cube stands on top of it. I, ha I have a lot of cube stands and I like to stack them all on top, but normally I have a couple on my desk. And so this one is going to be one of the ones that's just on my desk. It looks doesn't look like a puzzle at first glance until you actually realize that it turns like that. When lined up, these turns are very easy to make. The difficult turn is this one right here. Everything needs to line up, and right after I just lined, uh, did that one turn, these things just started to move automatically. Like it was very easy to turn. They wanted to turn. 
But then you can get something like this. It still functions as a cube stand, as you can see. So it's a pretty fun puzzle, and it has a very similar mechanism to the snow mystery, which turns like that, which that does. And then these things flip. However, there are more uh, colors on this and more things that flip on this. It's a very, very similar mechanism. Now, I would definitely recommend both of these puzzles. This is actually one of my favorites. It's uh, very, very simple to solve, but it's very fun. And this is solved pretty much the same way as this. So what you're going to want to do is just sort of move that down, solve essentially one corner at a time. So while it's kind of difficult to turn, it's definitely a fun item to have in your puzzle collection. It blends in. Not everybody knows that this is a puzzle. I usually have to point it out to them. Uh, but I recommend both of these. Again, this is $50 on his website, and this is $15. I'll have links to both of these down below. I recommend both of them. They're both good quality 3D printed puzzles. And thank you once again to NK Cubed for sending both of these out to me. I'll have a link to NK Cubed's website and his YouTube channel down below. All right, so here I'm using a YouTube random comment picker I found online. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the link in, hit the search thing, finding, uh, filtering out duplicate users. So 94 unique comments. Let's go ahead and hit start, and then pick the random winner. All right, so the winner of the Lattice Cube is Tubaloo, and his newest puzzle in his collection is the Chi Thunderclap. Now, I love that puzzle. That was great when it first came out. Uh, since then, there have definitely been some better puzzles out there. But congratulations to Tubaloo. I will uh, message you privately on YouTube, and you have 48 hours to respond. If you don't, then I'll choose another winner at the end of the next video. So if you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.